deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! Let one stray in, and before you know it, the neighborhood's full of them. Sick, and if I don't feed her, well, she's like to die of hunger. All right, I'll give you some coin, but you gotta tell me where the putrid grove is. I don't know that. Keep your coin, I don't know a thing. Move on. Be gone! Take risks and not get fat. Open up. Who are you and what do you want? Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated killer, me thinks. 
Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Now the password, get him free. Don't know it. Got to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Don't know the password. Pay up then. I won't pay. Let me in. Yes, sir. We made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atris. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you managed to find me, Witcher. Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have, but I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. See, Witcher, I've got plans, big plans, far reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the City Council? City Council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we've got a riddick of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But well, one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold Park. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. 
Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but... Uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You sure not believe this, but they believed me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heel. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks, nothing. Turned out, he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn, you went mad. We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Clue. There's a draft. Should be an exit here. Klug wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. Must be a lever on this wall that'll open the secret passage.
free city of Newfoundland. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin, and winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why they're exterminating mages. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. There's no monster. Ah. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Triss, you told this man you're a sorceress? Of course. She was looking for work. That's her chief asset. Are you, Triss? I know it was reckless, but competition's stiff here. No one would hire me if I claimed to be a common rat catcher. More importantly, no one would believe such a beauty could be an exterminator of rodents. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon & Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in or Novigrad. Don't much like merchants who flatter with cheap praise before the job's done. That was not cheap praise. I was merely stating a fact. So am I. I want you to pay in full in advance. I'm afraid that's impossible. Then trap your own rats. Well, now I know why she brought you along. Fine. A full purse of Novigrad crowns as proof of my goodwill. We need to place these crystals around the greenery, near anything that looks rat-related. <laughs> I'll cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm -hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices and droppings. Once we place this incense, what then? 
I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Well, now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? I was worried about seeing you again. Doubted it could be pleasant. We said everything there was to say six months ago. I don't want to go back to that. I'm not going back to it. It's just... It's one thing to say something, it's another to actually do it. We promised to remain friends. I hope nothing will change that. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Don't know yet. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. If these boys are here to help us kill rats, they're late. You paid up front and got what you paid for. Not half a rodent left in the granary. I paid in advance because I knew I'd recover my coin. Such is life for sorceresses in Novigrad these days. I can see that and I don't like it. So here's what I think. The hunters have come, and now they can go. They'll do no such thing. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Looking for a bruise, Get him trying it. Get him from both sides! Sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt.
You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareem's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'll be nice. All right. See you later. as much as life. Need something sharpened? Reforged? What do you have on offer? So long. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? My sword ready yet? It is. Behold and admire. A sword to outshine all others. Well, this was worth the wait. Thank you, Ibeer. It is I who thank you. For everything.
so long. Nothing doing. Something reeks around here. Greetings, Zach. Greetings, Geralt. What do you have on offer? So long. Oh, God let even you into the city. Oh, it's clear as the eternal fire. My wife's mum's an old Ooh. succubus. Great my lord. Ah! Mutants, blasphemers, kobolds. Contract. Ah, yes. Put my mark to something of the sort. Seems a creature's attacking lonely passers-by, abandoning their corpses in gutters around Oxenford. Isn't that something you should look into? Perhaps. But we've a plough in war to win. I've got the time to clean gutters. Let's talk about the reward. Acquit yourself well and you'll not be disappointed. Redanian Army is no band of scruffs. We can afford to hire a witcher. I see you've taken a more reasonable tack. We're finally getting somewhere, but it's still too much. Very well. That I can pay with a clear conscience. I'll take the job. Need to hear some details. You'll learn everything I know.
like to examine the victim's bodies. A corpse is a corpse. I see the wounds might be able to tell what kind of monster killed them. Ask our sawbones. He'll know if the corpses have been burned or not. You'll most likely find him in the hut on the riverbank. Our impromptu morgue. Any witnesses to these attacks? Anyone see the beast? Some woman survived an attack. They say she's not been sober since. I'd try the tavern in Oxenfurt if you're willing to try talking to her. Won't give me any trouble with the reward, will you? Nah, I want this out of my hair. Watch your steps. Uh, oh. Good thing it didn't catch us along the way. buy a round for a victim of the beast. Tell me about the monster. How you were attacked. I'd need another bottle to get through it. I think you'll tell me everything I need to know. Bottle or no bottle. Yes, I will. I was leaving the inn that night. Might have had a drink or five. I'm sure I wasn't hallucinating. Something down an alley called my name. It was dark. Couldn't see what it was, but it wasn't no human. Of that I'm certain. What makes you so sure? I just know. This thing grabbed the enemy's skirt, but I broke free and ran. That it? You didn't see much. Don't believe me either, do you? Fuck you! Fuck you all! Shark continue along. The bracelet, pretty worn. Silver under the gilding, too big for a woman's wrist. Attacker lost it most likely. like to see the monster's victims. Oh, yes. I've not had them burned yet. Must get to that. You've done autopsies yet? Intend to? Why would I? Beggars and vagrants. Every last one stinking of cheap wine. Mind if I have a look? In point of fact, I'd prefer you didn't sniff around. Gonna make me come back with a written order? Good grief. 
pushy, aren't we? Here, the key to the morgue. Look all you want. If you were an ordinary man, I'd diagnose anemia. But you... He was drunk. Someone dragged him over the cobblestones. Fang marks on his neck. Vampire sucked his blood. Vampire bites in the strong stench of alcohol, just like the other one. Fondness for jewelry, wounds on the victim's bodies. Everything suggests a catacan, except this vampire likes the blood of drunkards. That's the way to lure it out. They say about you lot. If you seek justice, hire a the witcher. thinking customer will see right away. We don't serve lushes, shavers, caretakers, or students from Philosopher's Hall. Do I look like a um any of the people from that list? 
Doesn't hurt to check, just so it's clear how things stand. So what did they do to you, the students from... Rather not talk on it, all right. What's your poison? Wanna get drunk off my ass, and it's gotta be on cheap wine. Trouble with the lass, or did your enterprise go under? Neither, just part of the job. I'll need you to pay in advance. Or, and keep it coming. Move. Once was a maid from Vicar Varro. Tight at night she'd be loose come tomorrow. Who lie in the moon? Another maid from Vicar Varro. Loud with pleasure and drank with sorrow till her lie in the morning. Catacan didn't hear it. I'll Where try another verse. Where do you think verse. you're going, Mucker? Why do you even care? You're in a military operation zone, and our job's to collect the war tax. Look more like you're collecting for a round of vodka to me. I wonder I do. Will you be that cheeky when we accuse you of spying? Now shut your trap and pay. Not about to give you a copper. Told you he was a spy. We're gonna arrest you in the name of good King Radovid. You can always try. What's going on here? Reporting the capture of a suspicious individual, sir. A spy. A witch would make as good a spy as you'd make a chaperone. I catch you extorting coin again, you'll go straight to the front. The Eastern Front. And you, Witcher, best give these parts a wide berth. Thanks. Farewell.
Your kind spreads Which way to go? Defeatism and desertion. It's going to the hut by the river. Around ship instead of doing some honest work. Be a put you went on, big. Hmm. Killed the monster that was murdering folk. Turns out a catacan was prowling the city. You speak true. But what on earth's a catacan? A higher vampire. Particularly interesting case, this one. How the hell could a foul beast be interesting? This one liked alcohol. Had a hugely inflated ego, too. What matters is you snuffed it out. Due some praise for that, Witcher. So long. Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay, from Leshens. That has no bearing. Asked you a question. How many? There's something to think about, folks. 
preacher's fierce in the mouth. But all are at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. It'll pay off, they said. Armed ruffians in town. Scandalous. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, th they vary. Giggling in the night, and furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. Truth is, we're already dependent on the black bubbles. Economic.
it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Stop. Go away. Just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood! Don't spill it! Please! Stop! Go away! Leave it! Shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there.
do? Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved, or quite the opposite?
A bit of both. A demon had captured Kareen. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Kareen dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Truth is, we're all ready. Hmm. Didn't look like Ryan. Oh, jeez. Just lovely. Oh, those witches. I just hung the laundry. Ah. Oh. Just you wait, wait. Take a gander over hmm? it. Ah. ah! Waste of breath. Welcome. What have you got there? Just by chance? Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next. But I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that. Or if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. And the witcher's shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. A 
I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falco. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. Know when a legend transforms into prophecy? When it gains believers? I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she... travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Ciri never found her. Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot.
bit of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. That's enough of that. I'll never come back, you stinking! Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth!
Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Stop walking into his soul! Gotta get around him! Oh. No! Oh, not another drop in. We're leaving. How long are you gonna make me wait? Of a case of war. Heck. Yeah, it's like we never left Virgin. Flat freight. I'm pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem, then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. Expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chocked full of bums. I've no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It says planner! Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies at my half you interrogate the ones in yours. So che. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. 
Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letno, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. I will get you every last copper, with interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Vespula's got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? The King of Beggars. Made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's gotta be. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness. And you're not entirely a stranger. What are you... Oh, I know you. You're that witch I took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Not Gerald. Gerald. Oh, dreadful sorry. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant, that lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Dandelion asks you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason.
Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Hal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie Hal? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Ellie Hal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it? I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me.
This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh, talk when the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you run afoul of Var Emery's? No. You'd be long dead if that were so. It seems, then, that you share some interests. But I shan't question you out of doors. Will you accept my invitation? Tell me what brings you here. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrot, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher?
heard tales of Zeracanian horses. I'll ride the bay. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Victory. Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, lady? Ah, oh, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Ah, nothing hurts as much as life. I'm sick. Sick of it all. Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why'd he need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Thanks, Molly. 
Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Stop staring or I shall call the guards. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. This morning, my Twitter came back from the market with news. Some mysterious murders happening in some house. Your greatest the great imagination of a drunk stunt. I'll never see you next week. He never lied to me serious matters. And you also told me to come next week. Have you heard? The witch ah, hunters have burnt right. at the stake. Now what can poor eccentric do anyone? The only cheese in the factory. Does the dwarves pop snow white cherry? Yes, sure. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. Sorry, can't wait. Hear about Dandelion. I'm Geralt, and I'm... Geralt? I know you. Fine. If you're eager to join in the lesson, you're welcome to. Children, sadly the rat catcher has a fever today, but in his stead, we're honored to welcome a witcher, who will now tell us about his trade. Ah, uh, but... This is grand! You shan't disappoint them, will you? So, who would like to ask the first question? Me! What's it mean that witches are lecturers? It means that due to our mutations, we have an overdeveloped libido. Libido? When a girl likes a witcher, the witcher says, What will you give me for killing a monster? And she says, Anything you want. So the witcher says, Heh heh heh. Then you'll give me something you weren't expecting at all. And that's where little witches come from. Children, what's the meaning of this? Next question. Is it true witches kill kings? Don't believe everything they say about witchers. What about animals? They don't like you. My mum says animals don't like bad folk. Tomcat ever hit at you? You stole many kids. Enough. That is all for today. Gather your things and I shall see you in the morning. <laughs> Bid farewell to Master Geralt. It's great you came. Oh, I'd have rather had the rat catcher. So please do tell me, why are you here? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. 
that was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. I'm the new cook. And them pointy things sticking out behind you, they your cleavers? Away with you, vagrant. Great deal of arrogance to call a pyre salvation from sin. What's this? Didn't hear me tell you we ain't looking for no cook. Sod off! Ah! Whoa! Oh, like a ball Ah, now she was a beauty. Never fades. Oh. For you are our life, <laughs> our strength, and our power. From now on, assume your own. Power of the eternal fire. They want more and more till you ain't got what you're still. Samaria. 
What's this? Didn't even tell you we ain't... Watch it, Greylocks. Tell you we ain't looking for no cook. Sod off. The rain will cleanse the city streets well, of filth. Well, just stopped. Men like me, whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss, before I report this to Papa. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac, my new sword play instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But, miss, he just claimed to be the cook. He's a cheat, he is. <laughs> See, Frederick, did I not warn you not to jest with the guards? They haven't any sense of humor whatever. Now take Master de Bergerac to the training room, quickly. As you say, miss.
I hope you realise what you've got yourself into. Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the ladies. Follow me. Instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your work. Did you get in? I'm a witcher. I'm looking for... A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Incredibly. But we ought to discuss that another time. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Va'atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret. 
passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Who Dandelions sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna! What? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow, same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. downright melancholy. Just oh. lovely. Oh! Oh! <clears throat> oh. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we want to talk about Dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he'd been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. The Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or 
or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. I must be her. Why wasn't she on the list? Mm, this Priscilla was not like the others. Bring down the lion more than fancy her. I think it was fervor. He lusts after every other woman he meets. How can I explain? Who does Dandelion love most? Himself. Exactly. And she's his mirror image. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This will be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. What village oh. are you from? Willows. Since you were here two days road from the Zima. You've mistaken me for someone else. You're the only one here who's made a mistake. No, nothing. Leave him alone. And who might you be? Temple Garden. Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town, then. You're making the mistake. We... And if we don't... This man's not worth your efforts. His shop's drowning in debt. You're right. Even looks like a pauper. I beg to differ. Don't even know why I bothered the bugger. My apologies, and fare thee well. I, uh, gotta go brush me teeth. Go home, merchant, and try not to come around here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean both, yes. Thank you, sir. <coughs> I'm knackered. <laughs> God, he's like a racehorse. <coughs> Washed your hair lately. Prince Proxino picked a pack of pickle Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon.
have yearned for your tender caress to bind our fortunes. Damn what the stars are. Rend my heart open. Then your love profess a winding, weaving fate to which we both atone. You flee, my dream come the morning. Your scent, berries, tar, lilac sweet. To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy. I will follow into the storm to find your heart. Its passion displaced by our ever-growing hardening into stone. Amidst the cold to hold you in a heated embrace, you flee. My dream come the morning. Your scent, berries tart, lilac sweet. To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy, of violet eyes glistening as you weep. I know not if fate would have us live as one, or if. We've been bound. The wish I whispered when it all began. Did it forge a love you might never have found? You flee, my dream. Come the morning, your scent berries tart. boys back at White Orchard. Silence, woman. You've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. Permit me to introduce... Uh, this year's Priscilla known also as Calinetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuben's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. 
doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Veres, and the King of Beggars. That rascal. At least it didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. I'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, the bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Bobby to I expect model behavior, Scout. Do you see that? If I was seeking to get you drunk, a whole day wasted. What? Hold on! Quill's mightier than the sword, oh yes. from the lands already taken by Nilfgaard. Greetings. You here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes. Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks.
Another drift ah. from Tamir. Oh. 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 Fly tomorrow what you can Greetings. Fly Mug like that won't get you a copper. Got to be elegant like me. Hell, save me. heal already? On God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless... Don't have time to give you... Tis I shall give thee... Let's dance. No! I knew... Had enough? Yes. But next time... Challenge me again. Raise your hand, draw your sword, look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. We shall see. Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Bar Atra said... And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off. Quickly! Left, right, left, right! Finally! Let's go, Geralt. I have something I wish to show you. You're using me. Don't like it one bit. And I don't like lacy frills and Redanian novels, but you don't hear me complaining. Now follow me. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. Listen, I'd really rather not hurt you. Stop patronizing me, or you'll be the one. You're quick! thing you really hurt is my pride. All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset, it slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varatra will kill me. Need to find her. Can't be far. Elvin blood, eh?
far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varnatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shite you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie... Oh, we'll pretend we were ourselves. I believe you've offended the young lady. Now apologize as nicely as you can. For forgive me, me lady. I... I am sorry. Your turn. Be nice like your friend. Bow low, and go be a patriot somewhere else. Lucas and Cole. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand against me. That's enough to have that hand lopped off. And you wonder why the locals hate Nilfgaard? I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us, our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path. <laughs>